Good morning, brothers and sisters. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15, 54 through 55 and 57. The resurrection seals what we could not. Victory over death. Death is the great enemy of mankind. It comes to everyone without exception. It violates our dominion of God's creation, breaks apart relationships, disrupts families, and causes us to grieve the loss of loved ones. However, Christ's resurrection has broken the power of death for Christians because death no longer is a master over him. Romans 6 verse 9. In today's passage, the Apostle Paul reminds us of the final victory over death that will result once we have been transformed into our resurrection bodies. To make his point, Paul quotes from the Old Testament prophets Isaiah and Hosea. In using Hosea's sting of death metaphor, Paul implies that death left its sting in Christ as a bee leaves its stinger in its victim. On the cross, Jesus bore all of death's sting, sin, so we wouldn't have to bear any of it. When sin's penalty has been removed, death merely interrupts our earthly life and ushers us into the heavenly realm, where we will worship and praise God forever. Paul concludes in verse 57 by thanking God who provided us the triumph over sin and death. We also should be thankful to God who through Christ's redeeming work, gave us what we could never have obtained by ourselves. God promises to all believers the heavenly in exchange for the earthly and the immortal in exchange for the mortal. With Jesus Christ's triumph over death, we have no reason to fear what death can do to us. Instead, we should rejoice concerning the Lord's promise to us about the next life. Death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire and he shall wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall no longer be any death. There shall no longer be any mourning, or crying, or pain. Revelation 20 verse 14, and Revelation 21 verse 4. Maranatha.